In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of creating charcoal still life drawing from first hand observation, meaning something that it's in front of you that you are drawing. Firstly, make sure that you're working on the one page of your sketchbook. Charcoal is smudging, so if you've got two drawings on the same side, that's going to ruin the drawings. Start by measuring your objects to get the right proportions. The same way that you've done with the pencil, you can do it with the long piece of charcoal and find the correct measurements to find the proportions to put on the page. You can see I'm starting here drawing those proportions. That will help me positioning my drawing in the correct place and making sure that my composition is good. Notice my lines are very, very light. I'm pressing very lightly because those lines will need corrections. So you also should start lightly with your charcoal on the paper. Remember to look on your composition. Also, go back and double check your measurements so you know that your drawing is as accurate as possible. Build up details of your objects on your page and prepare your needle eraser. I like to pick up just a part of my needle eraser so when it gets really, really dirty, I can just uh, pick up a new part. You need to make it warm and you need to needle it a bit so you can hold it in your hand while you're drawing more of the details in your drawing. When you've got enough details on, you can switch to a smaller piece of charcoal and you can start adding values, so darker and lighter areas in your drawing. I would say build up your from lighter to darker and feel free. Try to add energy to your drawing that creates a really interesting and nice effect. Also notice that I'm moving across different objects while I'm drawing so I'm not concentrating on one object. I'm not trying to make it perfect. Straight away I can come back to it later. Use a tissue to blend your values, to smudge them around and to make them more delicate. Just avoid smudging everything because it, you will lose the really nice and interesting texture in charcoal. Build up your values, go back to the areas, assess, look at your uh, still life that you set up and make sure that you assess and change the values so they match what you see as much as possible. Remember about adding shadows. Objects without the shadows look like they float in the space and shadows should be put on the paper in the horizontal way. It creates more illusion of objects actually sitting on some sort of surface. Go back to the areas that are too light, add more details and try to create an illusion of a realistic object. Some students struggle with getting really dark areas, uh, so don't be shy of creating a strong dark. Charcoal generally creates a lot of contrast, it's easy to create dark areas, so just embrace it and try to create uh, the most realistic drawing possible. When you're done with your drawing, photograph it well, but also photograph how you see your still life. So it's easy for me to judge if you followed what you see. The more your drawing looks like the photograph that you took, the better your grade is going to be. 